the gift difficulty with liturgies like that of Palm Sunday is that there are so many words, so many words that oftentimes they all just kind of, well, they all just kind of run together. And so tonight as we begin this wonderful week called Holy, I would invite us to remember just three words given to us by Paul's letter to the Philippians in today's second reading. He emptied himself. Those are the three words, my friends, that you and I need to remember and that we need to embrace as we enter into this week we call holy. Jesus emptied himself. He did it through the gift of food. He did it through the washing of feet. He did it by embracing the cross. He did it by allowing himself to suffer and to die. Jesus emptied himself so that we might come with those disciples in a few short days to encounter an empty tomb. But the joy of emptiness can only be experienced on Easter Sunday if you and I are willing to empty ourselves as Jesus did. So as we enter into this week, let us ask ourselves, what do we need to let go of? How should we and do we need to empty ourselves? Letting go of bitterness, negativity, grudges, anger, resentments, whatever it might be. May the gift and the grace and the power of this week we call holy allow us to join our lives with Christ, to be emptied that we might know life.